How's it going everybody? My name is Charlie Thompson and I am the owner and founder of Apostolo Studio and today I'm going to be teaching you guys some tips and tricks in Houdini when it comes to particle scale and rotation. So first of all what you want to do is you want to import in a grid where we're going to add a scatter node And we're just going to turn this down to 100 for the moment, so it's nothing too crazy. Uh, next up, which is the most important, if you add in a attribute VOP node, we're just going to quickly jump into this now, move the output out of the way. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to add in a noise. Oh. And we put the P into the position. We are then going to actually come up to here and change it to 3D noise. We're also going to promote each one of these so we can edit it afterwards. And we now need to add in a blend export. A blend export. Um, we're going to select this and we're going to change the name to P scale. We're going to jump back out to the um, grid node and we are going to view that at the moment you're not going to be able to see anything so if you go over to render as you can see it's already changed and added in small to medium to large and you can actually change that by coming into the frequency and the aptitude so the lower you go down the lower you're going to see it the higher it comes up the bigger uh, and so on and so forth you can add the roughness which adds more to it, um, as well as you can change the noise type if you want to. Uh, it'll just change a little bit here and there. The frequency also um, gives a bit more of a noise to it. But um, to add in the randomize, we are going to actually add in the slightest bit of code. We're going to add in an attribute wrangle. Let's select that, and we're going to type in this small little line of code. So we're going to put in at orientate equals rand at point and there we go at the moment you're not going to see anything we're going to add in a cube and a point a copy to point node put this down here first one into the cube, the second one actually into the points and as you can see the rotation is randomized. Um, you can also do this as well which is adding an attribute randomize and if you place it down here you can then actually change the attribute name to orientate yep. uh, and change the global scale and as you'll see if we zoom into one, you see the rotation. So um, that's basically it, guys. I will see you guys in the next video.